Hello. So, day one of the uh, Great Breatharian Experiment. Surprisingly, for somebody who's uh, done a 30-day fast and forgotten to eat for eight or nine days, I found the first day to be very, actually, very difficult. Actually, <laughs> I, um, I I felt hungry, and um, I, I kept having a, a growly stomach for most of the day. I also um, had the urge to postpone the experiment and uh, maybe you know nip down to shops and, and get a grapefruit or something. <laughs> Thankfully, I uh, I resisted the urges, um, but the fear there was palpable. You know, there was a, a voice in the back of my head that was saying, you know, don't do it, Dave. You know, oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. But um, it's just the first day. Anyway, um, I weighed in at uh, 77 kilograms, that's uh, 12 stone and 2 pounds. Um, here should be a picture um, of uh, kind of what I look like, um, so you can compare later on. Um, uh, I, there's not much else to update you with here, um, and I don't expect uh, much, too much to be happening. Um, but I will update you every time um, there is something to update you with. Um, and uh, I will absolutely, um, you know, own up and put my hands up if uh, if I uh, end up eating anything and uh, cheating. Um, I've been preparing for this experiment now for for 12 months, so I, I'm going to damn well give it a, a, a good go. Um, but I will, you know, concede that I am still human and still addicted as most people are. So, you know. Uh, I'll do I'll do the best I can. Um, I'm going to have a look at uh, some of the questions that have uh, uh, questions and comments that have come in on the uh, YouTube channel since uh, I posted the first Breatharian uh, video. So, uh, first question is, uh, why would you believe what is written in a book? <clears throat> well, short answer is <laughs> I don't just believe what I've re read in a book. I've read um, a number of books. Um, I've um, watched quite a few interviews with, uh, with Breatharians. I've, um, I've spoken to a few. I've also uh, had some direct experience with the fasts that I've done. Um, my, my intuition and my gut basically tell me that you know, what, I, what I know is absolutely correct. So no, I'm not just doing this because I've read something in a book. Um, what I'm doing now is, uh, is I've constructed a hypothesis I've, um, I've put together an experiment, here it is, and now we're going to find out what the results are. So, yeah, let's go to the second question. Um, am I trying to deny or escape my incarnation? Another short answer, no. Um, what, I, what the aim is here is to gain a better understanding of myself, uh, which I think is one of the reasons we're all here, to understand who we are and what these amazing bodies can do. I can also think of uh, many, many uh, more efficient ways of committing suicide, so no, I'm not trying to deny or escape my incarnation. One of life's greatest pleasures is sharing food with people you love. Are you sure you want to deny yourself that pleasure? Well, increasingly this is a pleasure that's being denied a greater and greater proportion of the population. Um, I do appreciate that it is one of life's greatest pleasures. Um, in fact, when I was cheating, during the run-up to this experiment, I, I did so um, in a social environment where people were eating. Um, there, you know, I, I experienced a slight discomfort being the odd one out. Um, that wasn't too bad, but um, uh, other people experience a greater discomfort when you don't eat yourself. So um, I, I gave in, and um, I didn't eat very much, but. Uh, you know, um, I do appreciate that uh, there is no alternative in this culture to friends breaking bread together. Um, and, and also, um, is it an act of love to give somebody poisonous food? If you don't grow the food yourself or pre and prepare it completely yourself, then you don't know what's in it. And most of the food is poisonous these days. So I have to ask, is it an act of love to give somebody food? So next comment, thousands of people call themselves Breatharian and yet they eat and drink. Well, being a Breatharian isn't about not eating and not drinking. It's about drawing that distinction between um, eating for pleasure and eating because you think your life depends on it. 
I think Hippocrates had it right when he said, let medicine be thy food and thy food be thy medicine. Um, I think he's being literal there. Food is a medicine. It's, um, it stimulates a reaction in the body. Uh, you know, certain foods stimulate different reactions and those reactions are, are useful sometimes in, in relieving symptoms. So I think we've just got addicted to the cough medicine. You know, seven billion people are breatharians who happen to eat and drink. So um, that's about it for, for this update. Um, as I said, I'll update you when I've got something else to update you with. Until next time.